Hello everybody, today is Saturday, July the 26th, 2014. My name is Michael Wright and this is the Weekend Elliott Way video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over the risk disclaimer. Awesome, so let's jump right into the markets. Um, we are in a couple of trades. We are in uh, four open trades as of late. Um, and first we are in the pound kiwi. So let's first take a look at that setup. The pound kiwi, we already moved stops to lock in some profit. Um, we entered at 1.9774. And as of late, we moved stops to 1.9790 to lock in uh, about um, 16 pips. Uh, so let's pull up the pound kiwi and look at that setup because very interesting in that we actually had front run it on the daily setup yesterday um, well on Thursday and thus far continues to uh, push higher as you can see on the daily time frame it broke the top side resistance and um, point of reference is that if this move actually plays out as we expected we're looking for an A equals C a measured move which comes in about um which comes in for two point let's zoom out a little bit it comes in about 2.18 2.2 about so that's ideally the a equals c move but nevertheless though we're looking for a short term move of 2.1 we may actually exit shy of that around 2.08 as that lies the 61.8 percent fibonacci extension so let's see how the pound kiwi plays out Again, as of late, um, already locked in about uh, 16 pips. So, um, worst case scenario is a backdrop. But if we do get a but if we do get a backdrop that takes us out, we will look to re-enter at lower levels of about 1.9722. All right. Meanwhile, we are in a Aussie yen short from 95.89. Um, that Aussie yen we entered. A little while ago I think it was on Tuesday or Wednesday of this past week and um, so far has rejected the 78.6 percent Fibonacci retracement on the 96.49 to the 94.40 down move uh, so long as this top side of 96 at least a four hour holds below this Fibonacci retracement um, continued downside is preferred and looking for about a move towards that 92 area so watching out for um, this ASEAN on the four hour chart and if we actually open up the time frame to see the daily developments um, you can also see that it is still kept by the descending trend line on the time frame while at the same time we had a breakout a downside break and a retest and uh, you guys know this retest also known as a kiss so again looking much lower um, that top side of 96 bodes well for us from the fib standpoint and also the ceiling and then could even see 94 to that 93 move, but ideally could even see much lower than that, but we'll be looking for that in the short term and looking to trail our stops from there. Um, with that being said, because we do like the ASEAN short, we like actually Aussie shorts across the board. Um, another pair that we actually have um, entered was the pound Aussie longs from 1.8036 so we got in about 30 pips lower than where we are at at the current market standpoint um, we had a breakout and then a retest and at the same time you can see on the in the waves the a to C 161.8 percent Fibonacci extension which has held for support as of late now that being said looking for a bounce off of this fib and trend line back test and at least new highs towards 185 um, that's a big move in my opinion and that gives way for the Aussie losses so if this plays out ASEAN ideally also plays out um, looking to move our stops up a little bit so that we are not risking as much and have more upside um, for these two moves as ideally it's kind of the same trade, not really because it's two different pairs, but it is the same trade as in we are looking for Aussie losses. Um, because we are in the money with both of them, that's ideally why we do want to 
um, move around our stops. Um, but another reason for uh, wanting to do this is because we are actually in a, a third Ozzy short as well, and that is the Euro Ozzy. Um, Euro Ozzy, we're looking for longs off the four hour. You could kind of see it, but it's better to view the Euro Ozzy on the daily time frame. And the reason because you have the congested zone that's bouncing currently around support. And then at the same time, you have the bullish momentum diver, which also calls for longs. Uh, going forward, we would like to see a breakout above 145, which will add a color to this picture and also give way to a higher move as a breakout um, of that area will also then lie for support, which we could put stops under it to lock in uh, profits. Um, so I really do like these three trades. Uh, specifically, Poundazi and Eurazi will look to hold into the new month um, if it allows us to do so. And then we'll look to book ASEAN and possibly Pound Kiwi in the month of June to um, lock in those profits for the month. All right, so those are our main four trades. Um, as time progresses, we'll also um, keep all of you guys updated with the developments uh, going forward in terms of um, new setups. We'll also post it in the chat room. If you guys ever want to talk to me directly, you can Skype me. My Skype is WTCG.Mike, or you guys can feel free to email us at trade at Thanks, everyone, and good luck trading.